So for this example, we have that an industrial psychologist administered a personality inventory test for passive aggressive traits to 150 employees, where each was given a score from one to five, where one represents extreme passivity and five represents extreme aggression. A score of three indicates the middle, that is neither. The probability distribution is given below and we want to use it to compute the mean response. For this, what we're going to end up doing is just computing a weighted mean. Essentially, we've got our values that we're working with. So to get our mean mu, we just take each of the scores multiplied by their associated probability and add them up. So 1 times 0.16 plus 2 times 0.22 plus 3 times 0.28 um, it's not great notation, but I'll put the next one, plus 4 times 0 0.20 plus 5 times 0 0.14, where I will say, generally speaking, we should check to be sure that this actually is a distribution first, and it is in this case. You've got 34, 50, 72, 100, but it is still good to be sure that we're not being too sneaky about this so that someone didn't make a mistake. Anyway. We take these, we multiply them out, we add them up, and we get a mean of 2.9. That is, the average person, at least from the study, is a little bit more passive than aggressive, but not especially so. Where I'll say that with this, the mean's not so hard to get, but we'll see another measure later that's going to take a little bit more. So I would advise getting comfortable working with the calculator for this stuff especially since technically we've actually done these computations before, we just didn't call them what we're calling them now. But before that, we're gonna have one more, let's say more, more financial example for how these expected values can shake out.